because this examination is very dynamic uh you might be knowing a concept so well but they'll ask a different story uh, related to that concept so we have to keep 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 evolving keep preparing keep hard keep working towards your goal and never never in this examination you should never think that okay this part of my syllabus is done because it is never done because all those all those topics you have read you have you can't be just uh, writing your answers based on the static part until unless you have understanding and you relate with the current development i think answers will not fetch those marks good marks if you are writing about say taylor's principle and you are not talking about standardization techniques of modern day how basic what is o and m you are cutting down what is taylor's methodology you break down a work into many pieces and then plan for each piece is uh, for plan for each of those and then you say this is the best way of doing a work and many standardization techniques of the current day are also based on those techniques uh, sir mcdonaldization or is tarah ke examples aapko sir ne bataye honge aur bhi do teen terms the ab thoda sa sir bhool raha hu sir <laughs> so not only this but not only in the corporate sense but also in government many things are happening what is basically you see uh, to some extent uh, to some extent mis based governance you are you are for 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 monitoring programs you are setting out different different targets and you are monitoring each thing and you are saying my scheme is running well so you have to see the current schemes and then you have to and then you have don't be distracted that that voice is much less than what we <laughs> what is coming from here so no matter what you have to understand that what you have read is the basic structure now you have to build your own concepts over it by relating it to the current affairs by current happenings the current policies the current uh, governance structure and when you do so you are really uh, i think you are really working hard on your uh, subject because you are not just confined with the uh, the static part of the syllabus sir will give you 100 examples and you um, we were amazed that okay se bhi relate kar sakte hain uh in 2016 uh, final attempt public administration uh, question came uh, those who have seen the papers might relate they asked uh, between home ministry and defense ministry some hmm. some question was there <coughs> paper 2 and whether there should be coordination between yes but, but whether there should be coordination or not so this was a question that came in 2016 and uh, there was some question which was not this question in our search test series and while telling that explaining that answer in the classroom sir told us that this earthquake happened in some place and these two ministry coordinated for the exercise then in that explanation sir also told us ki this is a paper 2 question where is the public administration every gs paper knows so until unless you mention thinkers like guli karvik who uh, long time have mentioned coordination coordination through committees coordination through committees because there are committees from these two ministries who coordinated that event so why had i missed those uh, had i missed that class in 2016 thinking that i okay i have to read uh, the public administration part why i need to waste my time so i might not have scored well in that particular question so it never stops never think you have become a master of public administration or gs or if you are good aim for better if you are better aim for best so those though there is no best but you have to keep improving keep working hard the first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach get the best education with lokman ias and make your upsc dreams come true Download the app now.